this is when I go to the venue. This is when I go to a room and this is Hi guys. Uh, yeah. <laughs> Stop infidel or shit. Up, bro? Baddest. <laughs> Good to see you, bro. Good to see you. Hello. Hi. Hi. Yeah, and this is the the baddest Moshewa Of course. It's our first time meeting actually. Right. Yeah. And this is our beautiful Hi. bride. So guys, here is a quick makeup procedure from the baddest oh, Moshewa herself. Enjoy. So let's start what we have come here to do. So all you'll be needing for this dial is a Sego Gilly and this Sego Gilly I'm currently using is um, HKG and it's one of the toughest Gilly. I mean, when it comes to tying Sego, um, your formula is always going to be 4555 whenever you're doing a V-shaped base. So now this is me doing my V-shaped base and you know, trying to stabilize my bright so I can lay it on her head properly. So guys, I won't be doing much of explanation because this style is going to be a bridal fan, a bridal fan sego. So for the bridal fan sego, all you'll be needing, like I said, is 45.55 for your sego um, formula. That's the formula. Then for the length of your material, you're going to be using a long sego, not the wide sego. There's two types of sego. There's a long one and there's a wide one. So you're going to be using the long one, not the wide one. So pick your base pleats, make sure you're picking pleats about 5 to 6 maximum and you can pick 7 if you can control it, then you continue. So while continuing, make sure you arrange your pleats well, make sure you're laying them down properly, lay them behind each other. Don't let your pleats be the kind of pleat that stands on top of each other and your base is looking funny. Make sure your base is looking well, well slayed. So after that, you keep going and you take it to the back of our uh, ear. So if you're doing the V-shape routine, you already know how we do it. You're taking um, the other end of the gilly to the back of our ear and one um, which is the first side of the gilly will be covering the first ear, which is our right ear. So guys, let's continue. You go to the back and you collect your pleats. Make sure you fold forward before you collect your pleat. So collect your pleat on both ends and then you'll be crossing so the shorter hand is always going to be on top of the longer hand shorter hand on top of the longer hand Okay. Like this. Okay. Is this actually okay? Or no, no, this is Sego. So when you get it, it's you get it okay. like this. Is okay. this actually okay? No, this is Sego. So when you get Sego, it's hard. How do you make sure? How do you do it? Like, don't work with it. It's tight. Nice. Yeah, but if it's actually okay, you can. So that's like that. Yeah, but if it's actually okay, you can. So So guys, after you pin at the back and then you take your fall all the way. So for this Sego bridal fan, um, you'll be needing to do something very differently. So you're going to pick your pleats just the normal way we pick um, for the bridal fan, the normal bridal fan. But what you're going to ensure you're going to be doing is you're going to be 
mindful of the size of the pleats you're picking so that you can have a little remainder on both sides that you can use to pick your fans on the side once you're done so make sure you pick your round pleats and you know do it the normal way make sure it is neat very very neat i always emphasize on neatness whenever you're tying your ghillie because aside from your work looking good if your work is not neat it won't really look as much i mean look good as much as it should Remember I said I had it, I had it second of so I went to designer's club. Ah! <laughs> <laughs> I just wanted us to have options. Okay. Yeah, okay, so okay. this is another option. So okay. if you look at it and then we still feel that other one will go. Oh so my just, goodness, trust me. It's second option. Okay. And it goes with the gold on your dealing, so I'm really comfortable are, with that. Okay, okay, okay. Ah, what a nice backup. Eh? I said, what a nice backup. <laughs> pick your fans correctly and once you're done so for this particular ghillie i won't be making it too big you need to always make sure that your ghillie is not too big unless that's what you really want to achieve because it's not about the um the height or the giganticness of the ghillie that makes it fun sometimes when you tie your ghillie and you make it really really petite it comes out very unique and fine and it fits the model better than it's been excessively big so this is me picking the other side of the fan and making sure that my heat and my fans are staying so so well. So by the time I'm done with this, I need to go to the back. And right now I'm at the back then I'm going to twist, um, twist in. So once you twist, you pin down. Make sure you twist firmly. So after twisting, you pin down and then you do your finishing. Then your ghillie is ready to go. So here I'm trying to twist and making sure that my fans are staying well. So when you're done with your finishing, all you want to do is go to the back and shift to the airline. So you go to the back of your client or model, then you shift to the airline. So that gives the ghillie the final fitting and your ghillie is, you know, looking sleek and very, very perfect. 
I mean guys look at this gilly if you love this gilly make sure you are floating my comment section and I'm so sorry guys I've not been responding to your comments I've been really um, you know busy and I am going to be doing that now I'm gonna be responding to all your comments I'm going to be having an interactive more interactive sections I hope you guys love and enjoy this video please don't forget to click the subscribe button and give this video a thumbs up and i'll see you guys in the next video love you anyway.